is not a year until your A-levels. It's actually only 10 months. And trust me, it flies by. Blink and you'll be in the middle of your mocks and you'll be wondering where on earth did that time go? So the smartest thing that you can do right now, start year 13 prepared and organized. So future you isn't stressed and overwhelmed when it gets to those mocks and the exam season. And that's exactly what I'm gonna help you with in this video. Hey everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking you through some top tips of what you could do, which is minimal effort to prepare for year 13 and make sure you have as smooth, stress-free and organized a start to year 13 as possible. Because this is the last year of your A-levels, it is really, really important and it flies by. So follow these tips to reduce your stress and overwhelm and help you get the best grade possible in your A-level biology. And speaking of that, I've got something really special for you. My head start to year 13 biology. It is a one hour masterclass on August the 28th, 2025 at 10 a.m. You get to attend live, you get the recording, you get the slides, and we are going to be going through some of the year 12 topics that will immediately feed into what you're learning in year 13. So some essential revision. Plus I'm going to be teaching you two of the first topics you're most likely to learn in year 13 so that you're not only reviewing some of that hard content, you're also getting a head start. And all of that is for 50p. So if you want to cover some of the hardest topics from year 12, some of the lessons coming up in year 13, get the recording, get the slides for just 50p, then you can scan this QR code here to sign up or click the link in the description. Right, let's get into my six essential tips to ensure you have the most efficient, stress-free start to year 13 as possible. Starting with tip number one, and that is get your UCAS application sent off. I cannot emphasize how much this is my number one tip and by such a long way. Getting your personal statement written and your UCAS submitted is the number one way to have a stress-free autumn term as a year 13 student. I've seen time and time again students will really drag out and procrastinate, prolong the writing the personal statement process and submitting it. And I understand why. It's a huge deal. It impacts your future and you want to make sure it's right. But usually that time that you're dragging it out, you're not actually improving it. You're just putting it off. So try and be super strict with yourself. If you can get it written now before you even get back to school, so you just need to have a teacher to check and do final tweaks, then I cannot emphasize how much easier your life is going to be in September and October, because then all you have to focus on is your A-levels rather than try and split your attention between your application, personal statement and your A-levels. And yes, if you do have interview subjects, you will have to balance it with that, but that normally comes up in January onwards. Tip number two is make flashcards as you go. I love flashcards. If you've seen my Instagram, TikTok or YouTube videos, you've probably seen I say flashcard probably more than any other word in my videos. And it's because I do genuinely think they are one of the most effective active recall strategies for making sure for A-level biology that you can remember the exact key terms that you need to know. And that is so important for our specific mark schemes that you get for A-level biology. So if you don't already have my flashcards, which by the way, if you do want them, I'll put the QR code here and they're linked in the description. That covers a whole A-level mark scheme specific key points. But if you want to make your own for free, my top tip is make them as you go. Don't just do it right at the end because this doubles up as reviewing the content that you're learning after a lesson by making them. And it's just a small manageable task then because if you're going to review your lesson, let's say on photosynthesis, the light dependent reactions, you can then spend maybe 10 to 15 minutes making a small number of flashcards linked to what you've learned in that lesson. And that way you've made your flashcards, you can start using your flashcards and it reviewed the content. Number three is practice exam questions. Now, as a student going into year 13, you're probably aware already now how important doing exam questions is to improve your overall mark. You need to have that experience of for a particular topic, what are the most common questions that come up? Because they basically repeat the same question just in slightly different ways. And also knowing for that topic, what are the marking points that always come up? Because part of it is learning the 
biology. Part of it is understanding the command word and what they want of you. Part of it is just remembering the key marking points. Now year 13 is harder in terms of the content, but also paper two can be as much as 56% application questions. So by practicing as much as possible, you will get more familiar with these really challenging application questions so that you should get a higher mark. And two free things to help you with that. Number one, I've got this application skills video here to teach you how to go through application questions to get full marks. So definitely watch that. And also I've got packs of exam questions on my website for free, organized by topic, but also organized by skill. So you could do the application pack or you could do a particular topic. Right, number four is don't forget your year 12 content. You will probably have mock exams in December or January, which will cover all of year 12 and what you've learned so far in year 13. And the chances are what you learned back in September and October of year 12 last year, you haven't looked at for a long time. So to try and make it as manageable as possible later on, try and carve out a bit of time where you will review year 12 content as well. And I do have an entire strategy I suggest on that in this video here, which is all about how to keep on top of your year 12 content while still learning year 13 information. So I have an entire video strategy on that that I highly recommend that you watch to see how it is possible to do. Tip number five is join my biology study club. If you haven't heard about this, I've had a membership for over two years now called the biology study club, which is basically your way to get weekly live tuition from me and from two other teachers who just like me are experienced teachers with over 15 years teaching experience and they're also examiners. So you are getting top class tuition, group tuition online, and it's four times per week. Now we alternate between year 12 and year 13 content. So it's the perfect way for you to keep on top of what you're learning in year 12, whilst also getting that support with what you need in year 13. And we do a mixture of theory lessons and weekly exam questions as well. Not only that, you get my flashcards included for free, my study tracker for free, long-term revision planner for free, my past paper analysis for free. You get mock papers marked and set for you twice a year and you get your work marked monthly as well. And you'll be in my exclusive study community where you get to talk to like-minded students and you get to talk to me directly for help as well. So if you are interested in that, here's a QR code linked in the bio as well. But yeah, the biology study club is where it's at. And my final tip, tip number six, is to dedicate at least one study session per month to practicing skills. This often gets overlooked and not considered until right at the end when you're getting ready for your exams because you're busy, rightly so, learning information and remembering it. But in doing that, you might neglect the math skills, which are 10% of your A-level, by the way, practical skills, evaluation, these types of skills, so what I suggest is plan over the time you've got. We've got 10 months till the exams, maybe 10 skill sessions. And it could be a couple on maths. It could be a couple on practicals. It could be one on evaluate, one on the comprehension, one on long answer questions and so on. And by the way, all of those, I do have YouTube videos on to help you as a starting point. Just search the skill and my name and you'll find it. If you want to have specific help where you've got exactly practicals and math skills that you need to know, modeled questions, common questions, modeled answers, a math skill workbook, and the required practical workbook as well for AQA, which those are literally everything you would need for the maths and practical skills. OCR1, that'll be coming to you. It will be ready hopefully by January as well. So get yourself organized now and you will thank yourself later. And don't forget, if you want to have that super boost to year 13 with my head start to year 13, one hour live lesson with the slides, only 50p, then link in the description or you can scan here to sign up but that is it for today enjoy the rest of your summer hopefully getting that personal statement finished and i'll see you in a video very soon